Yesterday's show performance was absolutely phenomenal. The show was amazing. And I'm not talking about me and my performance. I'm talking about your performance. You guys sharing the show, liking the show. We got so many great downloads and views and reviews and all those great things. And it was all because of you guys. So I appreciate you guys continuing to share the show and supporting it. The more you share the show, the more likely it's going to be on in the future. That's just how it works. Because when we keep growing, when we keep having great shows like this, it's going to stick around. Um, when you stop sharing, when you stop liking, when you stop engaging, that's when shows die. So it's a you know the best compliment I can get. And I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. My name is Matt Williams. Thank you for listening to How to Build a Tent. Today, we're going to talk about leaning in. Yesterday, we talked about the tactics, the strategies of how we can defeat these mask mandates at work, in the public, and how we can instill courage in the same ways that fear can be instilled in people and how we can spread courage the same way fear can be spread. If you missed that show, check it out. And today I want to talk about leaning in and we lean in because it is tactical. It is important as well because when you lean in, you're more defensive. When you're on the offense, you're more protected than when you are on your heels. And we're going to use a boxing example today. We're going to talk about that. We're part of the Fight, Laugh, Feast Network. Another way that you can support the show is go over to flfnetwork.com, put in HTBT in a memo field, Become a member, support the show, get tons of great content, discounts on our conference. That is the best conference in the world. I can firmly say that now after our last conference in Nashville, Tennessee, or Franklin, Tennessee, to be more specific, because of all the tyrannical restrictions by the governor or the mayor of Nashville, we moved down to Franklin, Tennessee. But next year's is the politics of sex. It's going to be phenomenal. But anyways, become a member, support us as we proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in every area of life. You can email me, Matt, at howtobuildattend.com. Find me on all the social media sites. You know, leaning into a punch is one of the tactical things that you do in boxing. It's a defensive measure in some respects because when you lean in and you lower your chin and you angle the strongest bone in your body, which is your forehead, into the punch, you're tensing your muscles up. You're aligning your body to absorb the impact of the punch. And then also that they can't get the full extent of it. If you can meet them before more momentum, before they turn their body in, that always helps too. But you're less likely to have a concussion. You're less likely to be critically damaged. So you lean in, you tighten your muscles, you absorb the punch, and you go on the counter strike. And you continue to press on and throw punches. And this is a new technique for us in this the cultural war of late. It is a new technique for us in the church that we're not quite used to yet. And we need to practice and we need to train. And we know what to do with the, the masks. We know how to create strategies and tactics. We talked about that yesterday. And now is the time for the courageous to lean in and get comfortable with leaning in and not being on your heels, not being far back as I lean away from the mic, not being on the defensive where we are more likely to be damaged because we are on our heels. We aren't in a attack position. We're not in a battle position because after all, we are in a battle. We are in a war and it's manifesting, manifesting itself in physical ways like these face mask rules and these face mask, mask laws. And so it's easier for us to believe it, but we've always been in this way. The Bible says we are in a spiritual war. Our battle isn't against flesh and blood. Although the battlefield is on flesh and blood, the battle is with the principalities and powers of darkness. So we need to lean in and we need to remember that and get comfortable with taking offensive positions, even when we're absorbing a punch. And it will go well for us if we do that. And you can see this, guys. Who are the people that take the biggest hits? Who are the people that get sued? The ones that are minding their own business. They aren't on the attack. They're not being aggressive. They're the people that just don't want to have a fight. And sometimes you do get hit. I mean, I'm not saying you're not going to get hit, but the hit isn't as consequential. And just look again to the left. We talked about before how the strategies of the progressives over a long period of time uh, has been effective of incrementalism, that they are doing the pragmatic things and progressing slowly and not just trying to do all or nothing at once. And we've seen it over the last 120 years being effective. We know that strategy works. And so we should emulate that. 
And also, we know the strategy of being on the offense works as well. We know that in sports, and we also know that in politics, in our businesses. Do you see your businesses playing defense that are liberal? Do you see them hiding behind their ideas of equality and hiring women, hiring the alphabet, hiring minorities? No, they're bragging about it. They're pushing it. They're throwing it on top of you because the damage is not going to be severe to them. The pushback, the counter strikes are not going to be as significant because they're not going to play defense. I was thinking about this. DeAndre Hopkins, a professional football player. He plays for the Arizona Cardinals. He flipped off from his Ferrari uh, Trump supporters. He flipped off. He was accused of flipping off Trump supporters. Is he going to get in trouble for that? No, he's not. He's not. Drew Brees, if he did that, would get in trouble for it. But Anthony Hopkins would not. Or DeAndre Hopkins, excuse me. It's DeAndre Hopkins. I might have said Anthony Arizona. It's DeAndre Hopkins. And he's going to get away with it. And this is what spurred me on this this article, this story, to have the show about leaning in after yesterday's show, is that if you are, I feel like my hair is a mess right now. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys, on YouTube. I, you know, I try to swim with my kid in the day and my hair dries off and it's a mess. Anyways, these people are getting away with it because they're always on the offense. And we're on the defense. And it's time to put them on defense and to be offensive. And when we talk about the tactics, when we talk about the strategies, it can be scary. It can be nerve-wracking. As in any battle, any war, when you're going in to start. But I guarantee you, if you stand firm and you do the things we talked about yesterday and you lean in and put them on defensive, you come with research, you come with data, you come with your groups, you come with your ability to lose this job without it being a fatal blow to yourself, and things will start to change. The reason why businesses cowtail to the left, cowtail, cowtail to the left, is because they are used to being attacked by the left. They're used to being berated by the left and they're conditioned to be feared by the left. Corporations are doing the left's bidding primarily because they're scared of the left. They're used to being attacked. They're used to being on the defense with them and they're used to being on the offense with us. And so people in professions like football can flip you off (laughs) They can flip you off without any recourse because we don't lean in and fight back. We don't take an offensive position. We take defensive positions. We react. We don't inflict. We don't lean in when they're about to punch us. We don't take strategic and tactical positions. And I just want to encourage you, for those of you who are motivated by yesterday's article, the ones who are in podcasts, the ones who shared it, the ones who liked it, the ones that feel like now is the time to do something, just remember when you lean in, when you take offensive positions, when you press forward is when you're going to have victory and when the blows aren't going to be felt as hard. It's when you are on your heels. It is when you're being reactive is when the fatal blows come. It's when the hard hits land. Don't believe me. Go watch boxing. Go watch UFC. You got to lean in. We got to lean in. It's time. The time is now. It's just a face mask. It's just an online service. It's just a meal. It's just a holiday. It's just distance. The government has colluded with businesses to go along with infringing and penetrating every part of our lives, guys. And we need to lean in. We need to get comfortable with that position of leaning in because that's when we will start taking ground. That's when the strategies and tactics we talked about yesterday will prevail. That's when we will see success in those initiatives, in those steps. Stand up, be bold, form your coalitions, do the research, be prepared, and lean in. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.
Apocalypse.